more, we are going to welcome in Ryan Clark. Ryan, the man of many tweets that entertain us all throughout the week, but we saw you said you were having trouble sleeping, so you went back to watch some film. Yeah. Who's the one player that jumped out on tape that you think will make the biggest impact on Sunday? Listen, it's Derwin James, and Derwin James is a guy who was an all-pro as a rookie in this league, and he's missed years due to injury, but he's back, and he's back, and he's playing a huge role for the Los Angeles Chargers, and what better team to have a great safety, to have a versatile player than to play against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now he can match up with Travis Kelsey. He can rush and get into the, the blitz scheme against Patrick Mahomes. When you have a versatile chess piece like this, you have to use him all over the field when you're playing the Kansas City Chiefs. He needs to be able to play the run. He needs to be able to be over the top of Tyreek Hill. And this is a dude we've seen go one-on-one -on -one in training camp with Keenan Allen. So he needs to have opportunities to do the same with Travis Kelsey. I'm excited to see this young safety play against the Kansas City Chiefs to prove to the world that he's one of the best players in the entire NFL, not just at the position. Okay, so RC, we also saw you tweet about Kyla Murray. To you, is he the most exciting yeah. player in the NFL for you to watch right now? Well, let me tell you this right now, Fitz. I am tired as hell because I decided to go back and watch him <laughs> at 2 a.m. And I, I just couldn't go to sleep. Just the first half alone was a crazy highlight reel. Some of his best plays are escaping for a defensive lineman and just throwing the ball out of bounds. Right now, Kyler Murray is doing whatever he wants to with the ball. I'm starting to get the exact same feeling watching him that I got watching Lamar Jackson in mm. year two Ooh. when everything was new, when he was making Cincinnati Bengals look like Florida State Seminoles. This guy, Kyler Murray, is starting starting to see and starting to feel like he's somebody that's impossible to stop. And now, as you see the Arizona Cardinals continue to ascend, maybe an MVP candidate this year. Now, speaking of some potential MVPs, Matthew Stafford versus Tom Brady. What do Stafford and the Rams have yeah. to do to stay undefeated? <laughs> The one thing Matt Stafford has to do, or Matthew Stafford, let me make sure I call him by his full name, he has to make sure he stays within himself. Listen, when you're in Detroit, guys, you don't play in a lot of big football games. You don't get opportunities to be standing across from Tom Brady and have it actually matter. Well, that's the case now in Los Angeles. So it's still, let's run the football first. Let's use the play action. Let's use Cooper Cup as much as we possibly can. Van Jefferson down the field, Robert Woods play within yourself until it's time to make that big play, until it's time to show that number one overall pick talent. And I think Sean McVay will get that across to Matthew Stafford, but he has to calm down. He has to be patient. He has to understand he can't win the game on one throw. And if he does that, this Los Angeles Rams team, which is extremely talented, has a great chance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, as always, Ryan, thank you for your forecast. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.